Well, a new deal sharing service helps flyers avoid commercial flights by tapping into the social network. With Social Flights, that's the name of the company, you can fly in a private jet with a group of friends for as low as $400 each and still get similar to first class service. Jay Darragon is a co founder and CEO of Social Flights, uh, joins us now uh, from Nashville, the headquarters for this company. Jay, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for inviting me, Betty. So, Jay, tell us how this works, because how, how is it that Twitter, Facebook, uh, Foursquare, perhaps, or, or other social networking sites, how did they help you uh, be able to launch a company like this? Well, like the news recently has been covering LinkedIn and its evaluation. The fact is LinkedIn has 100 million people and Facebook has half a billion people. And the issue is that with social technology, people are stating their intents and their interests. So it's easy to aggregate groups of people around common interests to travel from one destination to another and then offer them a value proposition they've never had before. Okay, which is basically that they can all gather, all pull their money in to hire a private plane through, off, through your website then? That is correct. It's aggregating groups together to use a private aircraft versus the commercial abysmal mess and delays and get, gain higher productivity and a much better experience. And who are the customers? Who's using this? Uh, well, for instance, in our testing phase before we launched, we had a group of Mississippi State alumni that wanted to go to the Gator Bowl in Florida, and there was really no way to get there. Uh, so we put together four jets and filled 100 people and gave them a round trip uh, first class experience for $400 to go to the Gator Bowl game. Okay, but I mean, that's just one example. But I mean, the demographic, though, give me, you know, who is this targeted to, though? It's really targeted for business segments that have uh, business, common business travel. It has to do with uh, sporting events and, and sporting groups. It has to do with uh, personal travel around vacation sites like the Bahamas. So it's really the market segmentation follows the typical travel patterns of different market segments. So it's higher end people that usually, it's either business travelers or people who are used to traveling first class, is that what it is? Uh, yes and no. The, the more people get used to this, it's not necessarily always the first class people because you can get a, you can charter a jet with 32 people for, you know, four or five hundred dollars a seat and that's into the typical airfare rates that go from one city pair to another but this is in a private jet. Okay, Jay, how do you make money? We make money on a small transactional fee per transaction with the operator of the jet, transaction with the consumer who uses the jet, and then affinity uh, market interests like hotels and rental cars, restaurants, and, and so forth. All right, and you don't own the planes, do you, Jay? No, we do not own the planes. We basically are the self-aggregating platform that puts people together with common interests to go from point A to point B and use a private jet. You match people together. All right, Jay, thank Correct. you very much. Really appreciate it. Jay Darragon of Social Flight.